you just know these girls, well, women, were not just about to settle for yet another bronze. No, sir, they are shooting for the stars and aiming for the gold. Who wants anything less, right? Shakari Richardson, more than anyone, is determined to bring home gold. As you know, Gabby Thomas, even without the 4 by 100 meter, would already be coming home with a much coveted gold from the 200 meter. That doesn't mean she didn't want to win another race, though. Meanwhile, Shakari had to settle with silver in the 100 meter, which was obviously a disappointing result for her. She was aiming for gold, after all. So, she was determined to take the gold in her next event, the women's 4 by 100 meter relay. Melissa Jefferson, who claimed the bronze in the 100 meter, crossing the line after Shakari, was as driven to get gold in her Olympic debut. Twanisha Terry, who unfortunately finished fifth in the 100 meter final, was as determined to add an Olympic gold to her growing collection. With this, the four American track stars ran their respective legs in the relay race as best as they could. This is proven by the fact that the US women's 4 by 100 meter relay team dominated their relay heat in 41.94 seconds. Despite a shaky second exchange, Thomas then navigated the last bend before handing the baton to Richardson, who overtook Rebecca Hazza on the straight to finish first ahead of Germany and Switzerland in 42.15 and 42.38 respectively. They too advanced to the final at the Stade de France. In the second heat, Great Britain, who posted the world leading time this year of 41.55 at the London Diamond League in July, placed first with a 42.03 ahead of France and Jamaica, who both qualified for the final as well. The two fastest teams outside of the top three also progressed to the final, with Canada and the Netherlands going through from the second heat with 42.50 and 42.64 seconds respectively. Reigning Olympic champions Jamaica, who were notably without Shelly Ann Fraser-Price and Sharika Jackson, were able to post a season's best. Germany and Switzerland also enjoyed season's bests, while Canada's time was a national record. Needless to say, the world's best of the best were going against each other to claim gold in the final. By the end of the race, it was Team USA who took victory in a time of 41.78. The American quartet of Melissa Jefferson, Twanisha Terry, Gabrielle Thomas, and Richardson crossed the line first in front of silver medalists Great Britain, Dina Asher-Smith, Imani Lansiquo, Amy Hunt, and Daryl Naita, who crossed the line in 41.85. Germany's Alexandra Burghardt, Lisa Mayer, Gina Luekenkemper, and Rebecca Hasse won bronze with 41.97. It was a phenomenal feeling for all of us, a delighted Richardson said in a press conference after the race. I just remember trusting my third leg, trusting Gabby, and knowing that she's going to put this thing in my hand no matter what, and to leave my best on the track. I was very comfortable with these ladies. Thomas was as pumped with the conclusion of the race. Obviously passing the baton to Shakari is very special. She is so fast, you know we're in good hands when she gets her hand on the baton, she said. I felt very proud, and I was grateful to compete with these ladies. And we got the gold. It is no secret that the Americans were heavy pre-race favorites as the reigning world champions in the event. Their team also has immense strength and depth, with Paris, 2024 200-meter champion Thomas joining the new 100-meter silver medalist, Richardson, on the starting line for the relay. However, despite their undeniable talent, it took an immense effort from Richardson on the final leg to secure the victory. The American raced through the field with her top-end speed, taking her through the finish line in first place, ahead of a gallant Britain and Germany. Yup, it hadn't been an easy win. For both the events round one and final, Shakari had to pull through for everyone. First, Shakari had to bail the US women out from a near collapse in the Olympic 4 by 100 meter relay, overcoming a German runner in the anchor leg to help the Americans win their heat and move to the gold medal race. Richardson was about three steps behind after receiving the baton from Gabby Thomas, who earlier nearly misconnected on her exchange with T.T. Terry. 
That put Richardson in a hole against Rebecca Haza, but the 100-meter silver medal winner was looking back at Haza by the finish, which was what Shakari would have wanted to happen in the first place. Then again in the final, it was Shakari who led the team to a win. Team USA's first place finish was not secured until Richardson took the baton on the final leg. The Americans had two questionable exchanges between the second and third, as well as the third and fourth legs. Melissa Jefferson, the bronze medalist in the 100 meters, started strong and delivered a clean handoff to Twanisha Terry. Airy ran the only sub-10 second split among the American runners, but her pass off to 200-meter champion Gabby Thomas took a little longer than expected. Thomas's handoff to Richardson was shaky as well. But the Americans did not have to worry about those exchanges costing them the win. Richardson was only a few strides back of the lead when she started her leg, and then she easily cruised to the finish line. Richardson turned in a 10.09 second split on the final leg. That was 8 tenths of a second, better than the time that earned her silver in the women's 100 meters. It was evident that the team needed her speed to win the women's 4x100 meter relay at the 2024 Summer Olympics a few days ago. Determined to win, Richardson breezed past the field in the final 100 meters and even had time to look at her closest competition as she finished off the third American gold in the women's 4x100 in the last four Olympics. Great Britain and Germany took second and third, respectively, behind Team USA. USA won gold in 41.78, a season's best. Great Britain silver in 41.85, and Germany won bronze in 41.97. Although Britain had excellent legs by Dina Asher-Smith, Imani Lansiquo, and Amy Hunt that led ahead of the U.S., Hunt struggled to get the baton into Daryl Nada's hand in pouring rain at Stade de France. Nada lost all her momentum, leaving Richardson with nothing but an open track to the finish line. And that's that. The U.S. won. Notably, the gold was the 10th for Team USA in track and field and the 105th overall medal at the Paris Games. It was a memorable win for everyone overall. Besides the less than stellar handoffs, the weather hadn't been in the athletes' favor either. The rain was torrential for a moment before letting up a little, but the athletes made do with what they had. Third, the conditions were not great. You can see it there. You can also see the jubilation on Shakari's face. It was pouring, y'all. Sadly, though, as the women were celebrating their gold medal, the U.S. men's team extended its drought to 20 years without a medal in the Olympic 4x100 relay. They were disqualified for an illegal pass after Kristen Coleman crashed into teammate Kenny Bednarek while making the exchange between the first and second legs. Before the race, even without Noah Lyles, who was out of the lineup due to COVID. It looked like America's race to lose. They have a knack for doing just that. The only time the U.S. has captured a medal over the last two decades was in 2012, but that got stripped for a doping violation. Here's what else happened in Paris. 